Today I'm in Columbus, Ohio, and I'm going to a huge flea market. I make some pretty awesome finds, really excited to share it with you. There's over 200 vendors that typically set up at this one, so let's get out there and see what I can find. What do you have on the models? Uh, let's go with 10. 10. Okay. Oh, let's do five, five each. Five each. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give you 10 bucks. Hi. How much, uh, you have five on this? Would you do 15 bucks for all of them? I will. You will? Okay. I appreciate that. I've got a bag. Got the big blue one here. All right, cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. So we're at 15 here and then... Do you want the Nintendo controller? Oh yeah. Sorry. Uh, Just tucked in the armpit that whole time. I'll do 20 bucks for all that stuff. 20 bucks? All right. Hey, how's it going? What's your name? Tristan. Oh, I heard, Dustin. I heard, I heard, I heard your voice. Yeah. I know exactly what that is. <laughs> yeah. First time I've ever seen you down here. I'm like, wow. So like right here. Right here in this area is where I used to set up. I tried to, I always wanted to get an end spot. How much is uh, Han Solo and Carbonite? I say Jasmine. Which one did you say? Han Solo and Carbonite, how much? Just 10. Just 10. This one's cool. Do you have any Funko Pops? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how much are your Pops? Uh, they're 10 and up. 10 and up? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Huh. How much do you have on your jeans? Jeans, honey, the Harley jeans are five dollars a piece. And I do have other new jeans over there, but those are the only Harley ones I think I got left. Okay. So ten bucks yeah. for the pair? For the, both of them. For the yes, pair of the pa pair of pairs. For the two pairs, yeah. We got thank ten you, for sir. you, yeah, have thank a great you. Day. You need a bag? Oh, I have one right oh, here. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Oh. That's sick. Another box of video games, Kevin. So I'm guessing this doesn't fire up at all. Uh, no, it is pretty. What do you have on it? Damaged on it. Yeah, we're selling it for like prosthetics. Uh, five bucks. Yeah, I'll do five on that. Alrighty. You said some of those posters were video game? I don't know. Uh, I, I would call movie posters. Oh, okay. This is still pretty cool. Where's one of those movie posters for you? Uh, Good morning, guys. How much are your records? I already had this one. Are uh, four each or three for clothes? All oh, the records are a buck a piece. All right. Yes, sir. Twenty for you there. Twenty for. I got three games and a TV. Perfect. Thank you. Very yeah. Much. Thank you. Guys, this JVC Video Sphere is amazing. You really never see these. In fact, I've only ever seen them on YouTube, never in person before. So really thrilled to pick it up even in not working condition it's really cool they had even mentioned like hey it'd be a cool shelf piece or something i agree 
However, this does have value for parts. So if this was fully working and everything, we'd be looking at about $800 maybe. And in its current condition for parts, probably between two and 300 shipped, which isn't terrible guys. I mean, that's pretty impressive, really cool. It's one of those items I never expected to actually find while hunting out in the wild. The chain that comes on that TV, it's actually part of the TV. So you could buy an optional battery pack for it. And it was kind of the idea you carry it around at the beach or whatever. <laughs> Before. Oh, have you? Yeah, hey, thanks. Yeah, Dave. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Dustin. Nice, nice to meet you. Yeah. I find some good stuff out here. Today. Yeah, it's been pretty decent. First time at this one? Um, I used to set up here years ago, honestly, like every weekend. Yeah, like I lived in Columbus for 10 years and then uh, moved back to Dayton a few years ago. I was about to say, you're what, Dayton? Yeah, yeah. That's where I was born and raised. And then uh, after the, the army, yeah, I came over uh, to Columbus for 10 years and Decided to move back. There's more in this one too. Oh, okay. Take them down and take a look at them. Yeah, yeah. More can deal with you too. All right. Hey, I love your channel, man. Oh, thank you. So I was just saying. What's your name? Uh, Flavio. Okay, Dustin. Nice yeah. To nice you, to meet man. you. Oh, well, 15. 15. Would, would you take 10? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Do you think his chainsaw works? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> he really wanted to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> There's 10 for you. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, good day. Yeah, you too. Good day. How much for that? I'll take $10 for that. Back, Rob. What do you have on the paperbacks? Uh, I'm taking 50 cents for the paperbacks, a dollar for the hardback. <laughs> Load them up. Two, three, four, five. All right, there's two and uh, 50. All right, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Have a good yeah, you too. Get one more here. What's up, John? Hey, what's going on, brother? Not much. How you been, man? Uh, not too bad. Still picking? Yeah. What do you have on the Voltron stuff? Brother, it's just ra random, man. You know what I mean? Pretty yeah. much, it's not going to be much less than what, yeah. what, yeah, what nah. they're selling. I understand. I, I paid up for it, but just to find the shit, you know? It's funny, I bought some off a guy, and then a month later he calls me up and says, Damn, I found some more at the yard sale. I sold it to me. Huh. <laughs> Did you pay up on this stuff, too? What's that? You paid up on these, too? I mean, for everything I'll you're sitting there, everything right sitting there, I, I think I paid around. I think I um, so yeah, he pointed out a Garmin that he had here. It was actually a Garmin backup camera. And I did look it up real quick. He had it at 40, but he offered to sell it to me for 20. So really appreciate that, man. If you see this, thank you very much for the deal on that. And then after I paid him that, I sold the Godzilla and I gave him like two or three dollars uh, is what he asked for it. And I think I put the right comp on the screen, but I always buy the Godzilla figures when they're cheap. What do you have on these? How about two bucks a piece? Two bucks a piece. I think they still got the cards in them. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. So it was kind of a mixed bag when it came to buys today. There was one that I had skipped over while I was editing. Didn't really have time to go back through. So I bought a bunch of anime DVDs and I did pay a fair amount there, but I'm a little skeptical if I want to list them or not. And the reason being is I believe they came from the Amazon bins or some type of Amazon liquidation channel. And while I have sold legitimate DVDs from them before, I had had some of them taken down in the past, like one. And I just don't want to even risk it right now. So you can see like it's got the Amazon thing right there. So I don't know. I mean, Honestly, it's not a crazy come up anyways. I might see if there's somebody that's interested in buying the whole lot offline or something locally and see if that's how I want to handle it. I mean, I know they're all real. I can tell, but it's just one of those things where it doesn't seem to matter if things are real or right. If they take it down, they take it down and you're at fault. So I just don't want to risk it. 
Uh, probably should have picked them up. Probably should have paid a little bit closer attention to the fact that they did. Some of them did have those stickers. And uh, yeah, just kind of my take on that. So mixed bag on the buys today, but this was in the middle, essentially, of my Columbus trip. So the last three videos were also part of that trip where I purchased all kinds of crazy stuff. So I'm definitely way on the upswing when it comes to potential profit from this trip. I do have a little bit of bonus second flea market footage. I'll probably tack onto another video in the future. So if you want to see that, make sure that you subscribe and you have the bell notification turned on. And also, uh, please consider checking out this playlist right here to see the Dream Home Challenge. And if you're caught up on that, check out this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate the support. I got to meet way more viewers than I thought I would get a chance to there. I didn't even show everyone in the video. Sorry if I missed you in the video on that, but thank you very much for watching. And guys, I really appreciate the support today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.